Hello everybody! Welcome to our brand new playthrough of Firewatch. Uh, this is a game that I've had in my library for a very long time and I never got around to playing it. Um, I've seen bits and pieces um, of this game. I think I watched part of a playthrough all the way like back in high school. It must have been like, what, 10 years ago or something? Probably when this game first came out. I don't remember anything. Um, but when I saw this on the Steam store, uh, it looked exactly like the kind of game that I love. I love walking simulators. Um, you know, as long as they have a really good story and they're really, they really do a good job of keeping your attention. And from what I pick up, this game is fantastic. Um, I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and let's give this a shot. We're going to go ahead and click on new game. All right, we'll create a new save slot. And let's see what this game has planned for us. Boulder, Colorado. 1975, okay. I see Julia. She's about my age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. I'm drunk. So what's your, you know, major? You slur the word major and it smells like Coors. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. <laughs> She's a professor? I thought she was about our age. Cool. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? <laughs> wow, what a meaning. Was that a burn, you ask? She smells, she says definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Dating a professor? Yikes, man. Oh, are we playing now? Use left mouse to use objects. Got a backpack. Where are we going? Wow, we must have been working late. We're the only car left in the lot. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. This is a cute story. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Are we an alcoholic in the making? Is that what the story's gonna turn into? Julia wants to get a dog. That's cool. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia's in love. She wants to bring it to her class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. I'm gonna go with the, the, the German Shepherd. I know she really wants the Beagle, but hey, don't we get a say too? I think German, I like big dogs. I'm not a huge fan of smaller dogs. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet, all rolled into one. Hell yeah. All right, four years later. We talk out on the deck, it's summer, 9.30 p.m. and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? Kids, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. Hell yeah, that'd be really good. I think we'd be great parents. In that case, we should probably get married. Oh, they're talking about kids before they're even married, wow. Okay, yeah, I would like that. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. <laughs> She's absolutely right.
Okay. Fire danger. Today is high fire danger. So is this is this Colorado? Seems about right. I've been in Colorado before. Lots of pine trees. Kind of rocky mountains. A little bit like dry and dusty out. Seems about right. Thoroughfare trailhead. Can I like Oh, right click. That zooms in. Where are we? Is there a UR here? I don't see a you are here marker. Okay. Hopefully we can like get a more personal size map. Do not forget to check in. No fireworks. Thoroughfare trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Well, good thing we've got a backpack. It seems like we are, we are well prepared for this. We are experienced hikers. Okay, 1980. Are we married? It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. I think it's always better to speak your mind than to kind of be passive aggressive. Um, I'm just worried that this option might get violent or something, but hopefully not. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. Okay, well, that's not how I would have played it, but you know what? Our guy, baby, he has some temper issues. She tells you to fuck yourself and not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Uh-oh, are we going to get divorced? Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Oh, what a decision. We could be He-Man or we could be a Victoria's Secret model. Ah, uh, we gotta go for He-Man. Oh yeah, we do look awesome. We know it. I like how it keeps kind of like switching back and forth between this this nice peaceful hike and the backstory. The graphics in this game are absolutely gorgeous. I love how like everything is just in shades of red right now because of the sunset. Ah, it's the next best thing to actual real hiking. Nerd hiking in a video game. Two Forks Lookout Tower, eight more miles. Is that where we're going? Space bar to climb over obstructions? Two Forks Lookout Tower. So we got eight miles to go. We're going to a lookout tower. This must be the fire watch, the place where they do the fire watching from. During summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. What? Mayhem runs away. Mayhem was supposed to be our guard dog. Are you kidding me? That's why I got the German Shepherd. May me moo. Ah, dog, Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. Uh, I'm going to scare him away. I don't want to be like super violent. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare away all three of you. You managed to scare all three of you. Oh, I think he mean, this means like you scared yourself, you scared the attacker, and you scared Julia. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work? No. It's almost been 10 years. We've known each other 10 years and we're still not ready for kids. Didn't this start in 75? Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Oh, she should totally take the job. That's where I went to school. It's a great, it's a great school. 
You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. Oh, Connecticut's not that bad. She says that it'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. She tells her, you tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. Of course, she's got to take the move that's right for her. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. That seems fair. We'll make it work. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. What does that mean? She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Does she have dementia or something? She was found crying in the stairwell. That's so irresponsible. No, we gotta talk to someone about this. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia may be suffering from early onset dementia. Okay, I was right. 41 years old with dementia. Wow. That's crazy. You both decide to keep it a secret. From who? From everyone? Okay. We got a journal? Oh, wow. That's our He-Man portrait? Wait, I want to look at it. I didn't get it. Okay, I just saw a brief glimpse of our He-Man portrait, it, and it was true. It was glorious. Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends, and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. All right. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Okay, well, can't say didn't see this coming, but that is really unfortunate. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn child little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into the bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. This is tragic. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips back and forth their, uh, to and from their home in Australia to visit her. Her family's in Australia, huh? For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. I'm not moving my wife into a home. How? Ah. We've replaced pines with birch. Birch trees. And onward we go. Is this the same hike? hike is already fun in my books. There's wildlife, there's logs in the road. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. Wow. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck. Watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter. Drinking then too. Oh, I knew it. We're an alcoholic. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. This seems bad. Like, what if there's a fire? I bet you if we do this option, there's going to be like a house fire and she's going to be trapped in the room and burned to death. I guess we have to trust that she sleeps like a rock. I can see this option going bad too though. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. One night I'm stopped at a DUI checkpoint. I knew it. Alcoholic. We blow a point ten and are taken to jail for the night. Man, this guy is so irresponsible. 
You consider trying to hide, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. They tell you that Julia is coming to live with them. What, what did we do to the house? Is it in like, complete disrepair and it's in a total mess? I don't argue. I'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming up and I see an ad in the paper for a job. Okay. What's our new job going to be? We're going to take it. We just lost our wife. Apparently we were not fit to take care of her. I mean, I, I can't disagree with her family's ass assessment, but. Enter the look at tower. Is this the job, the Firewatch job? This must be. So our wife is back in Australia. And we've completely failed, failed her. This is a nice place to spend the summer. Really nice. Wow. Can't wait to see this in like gorgeous sunshine. But it's not nighttime. Alright. Is this our digs? Turn on the power. Apparently that's not it. Generator switch. Hey, the light's on. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hello. Map table. Two Ooh. Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Oh, here it is. There's a radio. Hi. Hold left shift to activate the radio. Hello? Oh. Hello. Release left shift to talk to Delilah. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's mean. That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Um, You killed three ex-husbands, you're rebelling against mom, nobody back at home can stand you. Option three is probably the most accurate and the most hurtful. Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. We already Which, can't stand after her. after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. See, Henry gets it. Ouch. Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. But maybe... You just really like trees. Maybe it's... Gosh, maybe it's a borderline fetish. A tree fetish. What? Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Okay, so our name's Henry. We've got Delilah on the radio. Maybe we'll get to meet her tomorrow. slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Is she spying on me? Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus. I guess it's what, 6? 6? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yes. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to... Oh, fuck me! Good God. What? Much, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Which way's west? Are those fucking fireworks?
Oh, okay. Use N to use compass. Do you see them? Okay, west. Yes. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. So she's my boss? Can I write them a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. <laughs> wow, great security. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we need to get rope from the box, and we need to go... Probably not kick the shit out of those fire firework people, but we got to tell them what's what. National Forest Guidebook. Okay. What's the point of having all this stuff? Okay, I'm not going to pick up everything and drop it. I liked it nicer when it was standing up. Okay, it seems like we've got a good setup here. We've got a cookbook. We've got bleach. We've got a fire extinguisher. We were writing on the typewriter last morning, or was it this morning? I can't remember. We got a pine cone. Okay. Flora of the Shoshone poster. Cool. Calendar? All right. Left click to open. All right, we're going to take our backpack with us. Look at this place in daylight. I knew it would look spectacular. All right, we got propane here, too, if we need it. And here we go. We're off. Um, we need to be moving west. M to read a map. Cash box 306. Right click to zoom in. Okay, we're at the Two Forks Lookout. So we need to take the west road, and it's right along the road. Going to Jonesy Lake. Okay, so they're probably somewhere along this road. So if we just stick along the road, hopefully we'll find them. Okay, sounds like we know what's up. That's M, lower map. We need to pull out our compass. We need to move west, which is this way. So here's our road. Jonesy Lake. Okay, we're going the right way. All right, we can put down our compass. I think following this road is going to be pretty straightforward. So Delilah must be our boss, huh? She says our job is to do whatever she tells us to. Also, somehow she's like spying on us. She says she could see us. She have like a telescope in her place? Either that or she's like has security cameras installed. I hope it's not that. All right. Doing some good old-fashioned hiking. Is this the cash box? I'm going off the trail. I need to not get lost. If you guys watch me play Soma, you'll know my navigational skills are questionable. It's really hard to keep track of where things are. Um when you're doing a playthrough. Found the supply box. I don't need to know what the code is again. It's one, two, three, box. four. Great. So there's a lot of these out in the woods? So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. All right. One, two, three, four. All right, we need to get some rope. I tracked down that rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down to the lake. We're going to report every single thing we find to her. 
That seemed like kind of unnecessary, but okay. Hey, there's a snack in here. I'm probably gonna eat it. You definitely do not want to do that. Whatever's in there has been in there for years. That's how you get food poisoning. Wow, way to ruin it, Delilah. Eat. We're gonna eat it anyways. Damn the consequences. Ah, oh, okay. Found a note between a couple of guys. Hey, I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Harmless, but yeah. One of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. Which is kind of what the job attracts. What, was Dave doing our job? Do people lose their shit doing this job? There's a note that says a guy just left his post. It happens, yeah. You're not gonna pop your top, are you, Henry? I wasn't planning on it. Okay, I wanna read this note. Q. Ron, hey man. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking to the park... But let's get effed when I'm back. Dave. Okay, so Dave is the crazy guy. He says, guy couldn't take up, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. That must be the lookout we're at. So Dave, like, cleaned up after his mess? All right. Keep. Hold E. All right. Tab to review kept notes. Note from Dave. All right, that's from 86. What year is it now? I can't even remember. I wish I knew what date it was now. Map, copy information. Okay, what information do we have on our map now? Oh, it looks like it kind of penciled in the, uh, the hiking trails. All right, so we need to keep going west and it looks like we have I like a fork in the road coming up. All right. Sounds good. Let's do it. Put the map away. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm already getting lost, but I think I remember this is where we came from. Okay, there's the trail. This is the way forward. Locked trail. Nope. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Don't complain about it. That's literally what the job is. We already did that. So I need to get some tools to clear the trail? Okay. So... Cash 306. Oh, I think I'm trying to go to this upper path here. Maybe I need to stick on the more westerly path. Yeah, okay. No, I think I was going the wrong way anyways. I just, I don't see the trail. Oh, here's the trail. Okay, there's another fork in the road though. I say we just keep, keep straight. All right, we're going to put away the map. Oh, there is no telling how lost I'm going to get playing this game. Press R to toggle jogging. I don't want to get too exhausted. What was that? Oh, that must be the... Um, the fireworks. Can I see them? There they are. All right. Rope hook. No way. Is this why we need the rope? 
That's cool. Shale slide. It's steep. Space bar repel. So cool. No, no, no! Oh man, that must hurt. Do we have a broken back? Report the climbing accident. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. What is Delilah doing this whole time? Seems like she's just like talking to us. Does she have any of her own work to do? All right, I'm lost. Already. I don't see the trail. Um, probably this way. Okay, put away the map. Report Meadow. Does that really interesting thing to report? Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Dunno, just stopped coming out. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Look at this. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. Uh, people are just the worst, aren't they? Yes, they are. Not great, no. Super irresponsible. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What, you don't like a cold muskwa light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. All right. Forest Ranger, on it. Keeping our forest pristine. Pristine and clean for the local wildlife. All right, any beer left over? I'm going to give these guys a mouthful. Backpacks. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. We Drunk should take it. Maniacs. Fucking great. <laughs> oh shit. Ferret or Irish. No, we're gonna keep it. I'm angry at these guys. Oh look, they decided to have a campfire too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Stomp out. Well, I put out their fire. Man, I want to name that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. Bundle of fireworks. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Ugh. Well, confiscate them. Just like the whiskey. These will be ours to have fun with. You can't do fireworks, but we're totally going to have a blast with them. Alright, we're going to clean up all your beer too. It must be this way. Oh boy. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Oh, why'd you touch it, Henry? Where did he go? Did he just keep it? Oh, I regret that decision. Oh no, okay, he dropped it. Okay, good. I was gonna say. 
Do we really want to keep telling Delilah this? For comedy, yes. Uh, there are, uh, empties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? You can't say panties? I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. I know you're lighting fireworks. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes spying on us? Give him a break, Lily. He probably hasn't seen boobs in 20 years. <laughs> He's probably still a virgin. Why do guys think it's alright to just stare at girls? Uh, I know. You don't know a damn thing about me. We know you're a peeping Tom. Sure, whatever you want to believe. Find a way back to the Two Forks Lookout. How do I turn it off? It went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. So there's no uh, noise ordinances or rules out here? Uh, no. But that music I hear makes a good case for him. Yeah, no kidding. There's no off switch. Okay, that's fine. Jonesy Lake. That seemed well, like a good spot to swim. Like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. It's starting to feel like it. Nothing else to say? Okay. Back to Jonesy Lake. Any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake? Like diphtheria or consumption or consumption? Not if they're not nineteenth century chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. I mean if they drink a bunch, <laughs> Giardia maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. That's too bad. That's too bad? Henry, you're kind of evil. Uh, hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. Wait, so we're going back a different way? Oh, right, because we, we lost our rope. So are we going to go along this, like, river? I think we might be. Okay, let's do it. Follow the river. We'll hop over the log just for fun. Wait. Did I? I saw a radio pop up. Right? I'm not going crazy. I guess not. Okay. Why don't we get some good exercise in? We'll jog. Okay, I'm not jogging across the log though. That's just a recipe for getting hurt. Why don't we go there this way? This way seems like a more scenic way anyways. Um. Henry? All right. What a beautiful game. Not sure what the story's gonna be yet. All we've done is just uh, get a couple of uh, naked teens in trouble. So I have a bit of a confession to make. Ooh, this ought to be good. What is it? Um. I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I 
know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Oh, we got a reply to her. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Wow, at least she's being honest with us. Oh, I can see my tower from far away. Oh, yeah, there yeah, it is. Yeah, we experimented with hidden underground towers for a while, but we weren't really happy with the results. I don't need your sarcasm. Oh, the sarcasm's not going to get old. Not at all. Wait a minute. Was, was that sarcasm? Shut up. Okay, Delilah. She is really sassy, huh? Just non-stop with the sarcasm. All right. It's kind of hard to see in this game. Very high contrast. Nearby storm. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Oh, thanks. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. That's I a lie. don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Uh, yes. Alright. Another supply cache? What's in this one? I know, I should be getting home, but... I can't help it. Oh. I don't know why I was doing 1, 2, 3, 5. Apparently I can't read. Supply cache. Danger, bravery, the great outdoors, defend our frontier. Cool. Horn. This is a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made Excuse of bone me. and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. I found a flashlight. There's one in there? Great. Well, the sun's gonna go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. Awesome. No, never mind. Ah. Oh, okay. Never mind, never mind. It works. F to toggle flashlight. All right. Copy map information. All right, let's check out our new map. Map information. Um, okay, so that includes this little trail by the, um, I guess Thunder Canyon Trail must be in Cache 303. All right. All right. Seems like we have a couple of switchbacks and then we'll be home before we know it. Or... What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey. I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Hello? It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> that was good. Oh. Wow, I can do this all day. All right. Can I get out? Is there a space bar to climb the rocks? All right, that was a short cave, but totally worth it. I hope my flashlight doesn't have like a limited battery. 
I'm sure it doesn't. This kind of game doesn't usually do stuff like that. There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? He shined a flashlight in my think eyes. So? Henry, there's there's something I something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Okay, but this is a video game. Which means things don't happen for no reason. That guy, he's going to be important. He's going to come back and he's going to be like, Oh, I'm Julia's brother. How dare you? And then he's going to try to murder us or something. Because we, we did kind of fail her and abandon her. Is this where he was? Yeah, this is where he was. And then he came up this way. Let's see if we can find him. Julia's brother. We'll say his name is Robbie. Robbie, I'm coming to find you. Lots of climbing. I don't know if this was necessarily the best route to take. Oh man. Henry is going to be strong as an ox by the end of this summer. Am I even going the right way? Yes. Okay. Let's keep it up. I'll be back at the tower in no time. Lots of rock climbing. Man. I'm just exhausted looking at Henry do this. Trail close sign? <laughs> We're on the wrong side of the trail close sign. <laughs> graceful, Henry, graceful. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Do I see the tower? I don't see the tower anymore. What's this? Okay. Um, so it's uh, oh, there's the just tower. the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Thanks, Delilah. I totally wanted to know that. <laughs> you know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? I'm gonna Butts. put him here. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Guys, there's stressful music playing. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo Butts? Oh man, that's even worse. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. Um, uh, Wasn't this in my room? Uh, What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell did... You should get inside. Fuck me. What? Now I get why this stressful music. Someone's in my tower? I don't know if I necessarily want to be going up. Maybe down and away is the direction. Someone broke Are in. you kidding me? Hey, what? 
They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit! Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Put back. Uh, wow. Photo with Julia. Okay. Put back. Anything else to, like, report? Okay, Type I put in a call. Well, what can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five-0. I think we're the people who catch you whoever did it. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the Rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Yeah, well, I don't. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I just don't worry about it. Perfect. Keep that attitude up and you'll have an excellent summer. <laughs> All right, guys. I think this is a good place to end our first episode. We, we finished day one. And what a day it was. Um... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this playthrough. And um, let me know what you think in the comments. If you want me to keep playing, if you're not feeling this game, you want me to do something else, just let me know. Uh, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm curious to see where this story goes. Looks like uh, maybe someone does have it out for us. Maybe I was right about Julia's brother coming to get some revenge or something all along. Who knows? Oh, we got our whiskey here. Wow. I love the, this attention to detail. This whiskey that we stole. Perfect. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I'll see you guys for the next episode.